Now, I've got to admit, I've never been one for washing my car. Um, I've always been more than happy to pop it down to the thing that slaps it for 10 minutes, blows it for 10 minutes, and then you're done. And that's really um, the most attention I pay to it. But this is the Dad Skills Car Channel, and that needs to change, especially if we're going to have a fleet of interesting cars, maybe one day. So I've been out and bought a load of stuff. Uh, my former pressure washer was dying, so that needed replacing. Um, and I've bought some products that I think uh, may do the trick. But this is where I need the help of some detailers out there, if you're a detailer. Tell me what products I should be using, what method I should be using, and in what order I should be using. Because I'm probably about to go and mess it up totally, but we'll see. So let me show you what I've bought. Ah! So I'm having to do this all in the front room where I've got a bit more uh, space. So this Titan pressure washer was on offer in the holidays and it was down from 99 to 69. So I thought, hopefully, it's a bit of a bargain and the reviews looked okay. Um, and the other reason is, it comes with this thing, which I've seen people use to put foam on their cars. No idea, is that is that what we do? Is that what we use? And then it also had this patio thing. So, let's get it open. So, we have... Sorts of bits, screws. I'll take it we're gonna put something together in a moment. A patio washer, which we're not gonna to use today, so we'll put that to one side. Then we've got something. Wheel, nice. Hose. We've got loads of bits, this is like a Lego. We've got another wheel, another something. A bit of the lance, is the handle. Bits, handle. All the bits are out, so. We've got to put this together first before I can do anything. The cable looks a good length. Okay, so there are three different sets of screws, but it doesn't tell you which one to use where, so... I'm going to use what looks the most appropriate. Yeah, seems to do the trick. So we've gone on this one. We've gone for the more self-tapping of looking ones. Handle. That's that. And for this one, we have these rougher looking ends, flat ends, because the holes are much bigger for this one. to the back that used to face away which is that and then this thing clips on the bottom that must be for the bottom of the lance to go in clip into there that will definitely be that that's got a little rubber seal on the bottom so this thing That has to go in there first. So that when you want to hold on to something, you can put that in there and it holds onto it. Cool, okay. So, slip that in there. This thing at the back holds your nozzle that you're not using, and this thing is if in case it gets any bits in the end there. On and off switch at the front. We've then got this little, this little exit down the bottom there for our uh, hose, pressurised hose, and then we come down to the hand lance, uh, and it's got our foam foaming attachment thing on there. That's a, a simple push and twist job, such as that. And then you put this little straw on there into the bottom of that. Right, so the pressure washer is together. So let's take a look at some of the things I've bought that I think might be okay. So, the van and the car, it will be the car in the end, but we'll do the van first. Um, I've bought some of this stuff that you spray on first 
and hopefully helps lift some of the grease and stuff off. So it says on the side, simply spray all over your vehicle before washing to dissolve the grease, road grime, bird lime, and tree sap. That's cool. So that'll go on first. Then I'll wash it off, I think. Then I'll fill my little foamy job up with this stuff. This is WP, WP Wax Planet Below 8 Highly Concentrated Snow Foam. So we'll look a bit of that on. Dilute 1 to 10 for heavily soiled vehicles. And then finally, I suppose I'll wash that off. And then I've got this clay barring kit. I've heard about clay barring, never done it. And I've also heard about ceramic coating. I don't know what that is. We'll find out what that is one day. So we wash it off and then we go over it with this spray. And I suppose the clay stuff must be in there. Go over it with that. Work the clay over the surface. Do not apply pressure. Once the area feels smooth to such, wipe away any excess of the rapid detailer, which is that spray in there. With a microfiber cloth, repeat the process. Overlapping, fold the clay. When complete, apply, apply a coat of super resin polish to the paintwork. Okay, well, we'll see how we go. That's all we can do. Right, okay, so before I set the pressure washer up, we'll go over it and cover it in this uh, demon machine. See what it does. skills is going to have to come off. Right, I'll put all this on, then I'll come back to you. Right, I've finished with this stuff. It smells really nice actually, and it seems to have moved it, moved the grease a bit, but it could be a bit hot. It might have, um, might have dried it out already. Oh, there we go. Right, so now I'm going to go over it with the pressure washer. See what that looks like. A lot of dirt's gone, but it wasn't really dirty to start with. But you can still see. I don't know whether it's uh, going to need a bit of manual labour on it. Um, jewelry's out on that stuff. It smells really nice. But whether it does a good enough job um, that I couldn't achieve by just pressure washing it off first, I don't know. But. So far, so good. So let's foam it now. Right, hopefully. Right, not quite sure what I've done wrong here, but isn't that meant to be more soapy than that, more foamy? I must have done something wrong, I think. Right, I'll carry on with this stuff anyway. Well, I don't know about detailing. It's barely clean. Must be a nightmare if you've got uh, OCD these things. Things I need to know boys is when I was going over it by hand in between pressure washes do you use a sponge? Do you use something I don't know is there anything less abrasive? Is it something woolen or that'd be useful to know I mean it's all right it's clean it's everyday man clean isn't it but if you look in the like these bits are full of stuff that's been there for years so I've got a lot to learn it's all right but there's a lot to learn right then there's a video coming up on screen next which I'm sure you'll enjoy too but until next time when we continue the detailing on this van I'll see you again cheers